Yo, it's Corey here at Floodway, and I'm sitting in front of my desk today because I wanted to give you all a quick run through on the separation and preparation of a design for screen printing. But uh, not just any design, this is a file that my buddy Graham was having some trouble with. I think he mentioned because of some empty paths and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a look at it. I thought it'd be a good idea to turn the camera on, turn the screencast on, because there are like a thousand ways to skin a cat when it comes to Illustrator stuff like this. And so I'm hoping that y'all can pick up some tips from my workflow and hopefully I can pick up some tips from yours because if you have any suggestions I would love to hear them but this is how I would uh, figure out this file so I've already got it downloaded I'm gonna open it in Illustrator here and first thing I'm seeing is a warning about the newer version of Illustrator not really worried about that I see it all the time using an old version um, but the second thing is this font is missing which might not be a problem remember Graham said it has a bunch of empty paths so it might just be a sign of it not being expanded and stuff by the designer you know it might explain some of those empty paths it might not be a problem so let's open it up here and yeah so this is what we've got and first thing I see is that font right there but it looks like all the paths for that same word are here they just have some texture in it and you can see all these clipping masks everywhere so first thing I like to do is select a empty stroke and fill and do a select same fill color and just kind of see what happens when um, whoa yeah there's a lot of paths but just kind of see what happens when I delete all those and it makes an even bigger mess than we started with so not going to do that quite yet it means we have a little bit more separating to do so command A I'm going to select all again and I'm going to hit merge and see what happens here it's going to take a while because there are a lot of paths to merge here and that's pretty good but I noticed the crossfit here is gone so we're going to have to go another way maybe we'll just have to dig into this manually right so first thing I'm going to do is delete that font like you just saw and just start seeing like can I pull some of these shapes out right so if I zoom in a little bit let me see this M shape so I'm going to open up these layers and take a little look if I select this, this group, this clipping group is all one color of stuff. Can I fill it? I can. That's wicked. So I'm going to move this to the front and I'm going to keep that for later because that means that this shape is pretty much good to go. And uh, the shortcut I like for that is Command X Cut, Command F Paste to Front, and Command G Group puts in a little group there. Right? So when we merge all this back together, it's going to be pretty good. Okay, so let's see these other letters here. If I select, ooh, I gotta unselect some stuff here. But if I select this H and I open this up, what do I get? So I'm gonna keep digging down this layer here because I'm worried about how it's selecting like the whole rectangle. I don't know, I can see one of these paths looks like a rectangle. So I'm gonna remove it. And that kind of gives me just the um, the same thing I was looking for there, right? So, if I fill that now, it still kind of has the clipping mask, which is in one of these groups. So, what if I do that same trick and paste it to front? So, now I've got this up here. And can I fill it? No. But what if I merge it first? There we go. Now I can fill it. But once, since I've merged it, it gives it those empty paths in there. So let me just go look for them. These ones here. I'm just going to remove those. Because we do not want them. Right? And there's still the yellow behind it, but we're not going to worry about that. Right? Because we're just getting our kind of colors together. Oh, my computer is chugging along because of this. But let's continue here. So next thing is probably this weight. Uh, it sounds like the client wants it knocked out, so that's going to be kind of easy to deal with. So I'm just going to take this whole group, and what if I merge this as well? There we go, it makes it a solid color. So like I said, I'm going to make it a like its own color. So when I do a um, XFG cut, paste to front and group, it's going to be its own little layer up here when I separate everything out. So what is left here? now? We need to get these black letters. Let's look at this. This little group here. I see the shapes are just inside here. So let's get these up top too. And 
since I'm having trouble telling what I've started and what I haven't started, I'm gonna use like a different color for these than black. I'm gonna make them underbase white for now, just so that I can uh, tell which black things I've dealt with and which ones I haven't. So you see this one has a big old clipping mask around it. I'll merge that as well, but nothing is really happening. Maybe if I select this whole group and merge it, there we go, make that underbase white. But again, it's got that little path in it, so I'm gonna make sure we remove that. Oh, and it's a little easier to go find it like in the panel and remove it than what I just tried, right? So let's do the let's do this big chunk here, right? I kind of see it here. Can I just make it white? Yeah, there we go. That one was easy. We've got this piece as well. Can I merge it? Make it white. There we go, and I should remove that inside chunk. And we're pretty much done, right? Just gotta do this CrossFit stuff. It looks like each one of these is one of those letters. Merging produces no results, which is fine. But I'm gonna bring these to the top just to mess with them up here. Cause sometimes those clipping masks can carry down further than you think. So yeah, merging doesn't work, so let's try expanding it. And does that work? No, hey, so what is going on? What if we merge them? Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on here. So since there's only a couple of these, I'm just gonna delete them manually. Like since we're so close to being done. I'm just gonna select them all, holding control to select all these and then delete them. And now I'm left with that fill I was trying to do. And that's perfect. So the best part is when you select all and you merge it, it should all come together. But we do still have some of these clipping groups down here. So I'm just going to move some stuff out of these. Like, what am I missing now? The Just this guy. And then just delete this clipping group before I do a control or command A, select everything and merge. But you notice when I merge it that this CrossFit stuff disappears. So I'm just gonna look through this panel and you can see how they're all kind of in these groups. And I don't know, I think I've just got to um, like pull them out. So I'm gonna just pull them down. There's only a couple, remember? So I'm not looking for some other fancy trick. I can just pull these down quick out of this clipping group. And now if I merge it, it's fine because they're out of that clipping group. So from here, I can select same fill color, do that same trick, cut, paste the front, group, same trick on everything, select same fill color. And you can give them all their own little group. And it's all nice and separated out, all right? So we'll do... Um, we'll do the gold and the blue. Make sure to do all your colors, not just leave the last one, because what you end up with is just this kind of uh, empty path group at the end, so it helps you get rid of all that stuff. And there we go. So remember the uh, client wanted this stuff in like yellow, they wanted the weight knocked out, and they wanted this stuff in black. So it's pretty much ready to go. I'll just add the reg marks. I have a little plugin that does it for me. Pick the screens for it, you know, whatever. And uh, let her rip. So there it is, ready to output. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody, like I said. Hopefully it helps Graham at least, because I'm going to send him the file when we're done. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any files you want me to take a look at. Maybe I can do some more of these. But. Anyway, thanks again. Have a good day.